Hey guys, Matt here. I'm going to go ahead and make a few videos tonight and tomorrow. Uh, the first one is not something I was planning on making. Um, earlier today, my mom had asked me to come over because she said she had a lot of ads and constant pop-ups on her computer. Um, and, and she had just gotten a new computer last week, and she wanted to save me the trouble of, you know, coming over there and setting up some things. So she decided to go to download, whoops, sorry, download.com to grab a few things. And download.com used to be um, a really awesome site years ago uh, where you could just download whatever app you needed quickly. And, you know, they had a few ads here and there, and it was no big deal. Now it is filled with bundleware. Bundleware is software that comes with something you're trying to download and sneakily, sneakily installs uh, on your computer. So tons of adware, things that you really didn't want. So let's say I want this KM player. I have no idea what KM player is, but I'm going to go ahead and download it. It's got excellent ratings. So we'll go ahead and say run. And we'll accept all these steps. Now take a look at this part right here. You know, really small fonts right here. Big old license agreement. I mean, typically the people just want to... You know, they just want to download their stuff, get get the application they were after, and they don't have time to read everything. So they're just going to go go ahead, of course, hit agree and install. So yeah, this bundleware is just, uh, I would say it's like 90% of what I deal with now um, outside of work. You know, when someone calls me and says that their computer's slow or... They've got viruses. Well, they don't have viruses. They just have just bundleware crap. It's all this adware and pop-ups, redirections, and shit like that. So, yeah, if I was the the people who make KM Player, I would not I would not associate with uh, places like Download.com that. Um, you know, kind of wrap your application in with a bunch of adware. I'm sure they have deals with, you know, I'm sure all the deals are laid out and everyone's on the take. So once you, you know, once you install this adware, download.com gets, you know, a nice little penny of it. A couple pennies, whatever. They're selling their soul, basically. Okay, you want to put up some advertising, that's fine. You want to do some kind of subscription service, okay. But I mean, Bundling crapware, it just people just aren't going to come to your site anymore. It's over. I mean, right now this used to be an awesome site. It is a joke now. Complete joke. And look how long it takes to install a freaking whatever it is player. You're sitting here waiting for all your adware to install. All your bundleware. Look at all this shit. This is unbelievable, man. Give me a break. Nobody, and, and nobody wants any of that crap, by the way. At all. Nobody wants visual search aids and... You know, how to save a few extra pennies here and there. Nobody wants that shit. They, they just don't care. They just want their little player, and they don't want ads and website tracking and just tons of crap. Yeah, great. So let's go ahead and do uh, a few more installs here. So this video leads me into my second video. I won't tell you what that is yet, but... You'll see. So I this actually happened to me at work the other day. Somebody was looking for a YouTube downloader. And I bet you anything, they did a search for it and got redirected to some crap-ass site like this. 
So it's a secure download. I don't see any kind of, um, you know, installer enabled thing, whatever the hell they call it. It doesn't look like it's bundled yet. Let's see. I'm sorry if I sound uh, especially nasal. I'm sick as shit right now. Ah. Install anti... No, install add aware web companion. Set search powered by Bing. So, you know, these things, these guys are all on the take. They, they get money for all this shit. Tune up utilities, just paying them. Alright, and let's go ahead and grab one more. And I'm sure a lot of people already know how bad it is out there right now. But just for the people who don't, I just want to, you know, put out this video and show you how easy it is to really screw up your computer in, I don't know, 10 minutes. So, yeah, already it's just kind of unbearably slow. I can't even really go back. Right. Let's see. Uh, oh boy. Let's go for another downloader thing. YTD video downloader. So we're going to download from an external site, it says. We'll go ahead and say run. And hang on a second. Sorry, I had to uh, prevent myself from coughing to death on mic. Okay, another one of those express installs. Yeah, see, you get the picture. It's very difficult to find sites uh, that offer real, legitimate free downloads without all this bundleware crap. Um, so download.com is definitely just, you know, bad. Don't go there. It's off the list. If you want to download stuff and not have tons of bundleware, adware, um, from installing on your computer, you know, in the comments, why don't you guys put sites that you know are bad so that all of us can just avoid those. And I'll put together like a master list because this is crazy. I mean, it is just bad. Um, so, <clears throat> let's see what we got here really quick before I end this video. Just terrible. I'm going to go to my uh, uninstall program and see what has been installed. Look at all that shit. Uh, when I started, I had this, this, and I think, yeah, these two updates and VMware tools. Now I got all this other crap. So, yeah. Anyway, stay away from that site. Um, the site I use to download my stuff right now is File Hippo. They're kind of getting shady a little bit, but they're still sort of okay. And if you want something like KM Player, Go to whoever makes KM Player's website, their real website, and try to get it from there. But it might be full of bundleware there, too. I don't know. Um, I have a, another video where I show you how to avoid bundleware from installing. It's called uh, uh, Unchecky. So I'll put that in the description. If you, it's, a little, it's a little free app that automatically unchecks all these bundleware uh, you know, inclusions so 
Anyway, my voice is fading. I gotta end this. Uh, so I'll see you in the next video in a few seconds here.